room and a bathroom. This one also has a full-size kitchen and living room in it. And they both sides are nightly rentals for Mike. Okay. And then the third greenhouse, which is this one here that kind of trudes off the front, is a tilapia and catfish pool. And then there was some discussion about maybe doing some kind of a hot tub up on top. So that may or may not happen. I'm not sure if you know, as things continue to evolve for Mike. What kind of plant is that right above your head? Is this a lot of it? I don't know. Uh, Splash blossom. some of this. Splash blossom. You're asking what? the wrong guy. Oh, no, this is yeah, this I don't, is I don't know. A splash blossom. Look. Okay, so how with the global to the... Yep. How can I incorporate this? Put out another... Well, wait, wait, you have it set up right now, okay? So you've got vertical the front net. face. Oh, it's vertical? I believe, well, I don't know, I haven't seen yeah. the plans, but yeah. the global two two better, I think. I vertical, vertical interior greenhouse, right. and slope and it's exterior right. greenhouse. Right. Okay, so what you're going to end up having to do is you'll end up doing a vertical interior greenhouse, a vertical second greenhouse. Excuse me, could you come and stand beside this so I can get like a, a reference? Perspective. Yeah, perspective. But how big, there you go, here, how big those uh, bananas are. Excellent, thank you. Chris and... And if I, Mike can draw it for you, he'll design it up, and uh, and he'll have in mind that you're looking to protect this building, yeah. keep that solar gain from charging its mass. Well, you know, just from this, this morning, this whole thing is, you know, more surface area for plants. Yeah, the roof. That's the first thing. I like the house that he had that was round. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, you know, yeah. Yeah. adding the invisible bills, you can use still have the answer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one Indeed it is. What is it? Work room. Yeah. It's a storage room. Look at the tires on it. storage all the way around. Yes, they did, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's a good all idea. Off of your to make a hair and your shirt. Right, right. And that's how you really protect your spoon well, production yeah. facility. And without doing that, you're in here a constant battle. You're washing leaves, you're spraying, you know, you're spraying all kinds of like, uh, you know, uh, like cleaners. They keep them from actually attaching and creating the So it's a real, it's a real challenge.
So Luis, you look like you might speak Spanish. Do you speak Spanish? Uh, thank you. <laughs> wow, look at those nice flowers. Nice. Those are in the bottle. Those are in the bottle. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That. <laughs> wow. That's <laughs> awesome. It's too much time, too much money to build a building like that. Just, uh, just put a little bit more money and do a third greenhouse. How awesome is that? Are you the chicken? No, nope, they'll be here tomorrow. You look like a chicken. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I sure do. Oh, the chicken's not there yet. Wow. They'll I be like. Here tomorrow. I, I, so, what are you doing? Are you preserving the wood? Is that it? Or? No, this is cement. That's a cement stick? Yeah, see? Concrete? Yeah. So, how'd you do that? Um, well, basically, my family's been doing it for almost a hundred years. Yeah, so San Antonio. It's, is it cast? No, it's all cement. Basically, I apply the cement and then I just start cutting into it, carving. Wow. Uh, well, individually carved. I want it. Yeah. Cool. Nice, but I want to see you lay an egg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. Right. I can't really do that. Over there. <laughs> so these are the tools of your trade here. Yep, that fork and that little knife. That's a custom fork, yeah, not just a regular fork. Yeah, that's a custom fork. Wow. That was my grandfather's fork. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me you made that. That's made entirely out of concrete. Cement and steel. It's a rebar. And you sculpted all that great wood grain into it? Yeah, these are too. These are concrete. So would you so just like what? You'd apply it with by hand and Yeah, I apply it with a brush and uh -huh. and just let it set up kind of. Uh -huh. Is this a chicken coop? Yep. Where are the chicken? They'll be he, here tomorrow. He's oh. the chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Today I'm the chicken. Uh -huh. Yeah. Chicken with fantastic cement sculpting skills. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty wild. So will this be open the top or? Yeah, it'll be open. I was just I just put the plastic up to block the wind uh -huh. so the cement didn't set up too fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's that going to be like nest spots? Yeah, these three are all nests. Yes, this yeah. little ladder will go here in the center. They can so That's so cute. Get the same kind of heat game. I have yeah. chicken. In the winter, I think but we I, might put plastic or glass. Like this. <laughs> yeah. but it should be pretty protected. So. Wow. Yeah. So pretty, uh, it's going to cover with last night's feet. No, this is going to be <laughs> the way it is. This is just to block the wind for the bees. There is some lucky time. But in the wintertime, we might put well, glass That's how you're going to build the bench around our fireplace? Yes. Yeah. How would you yeah. pass them, though, as a matter of fact? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we use our flagstone on top. Yep. I can't believe these sagebrush actually survived. The construction process. Do you live in this house? I wonder what this is going to be. No. Is this your home? No. no. I just work here. Oh, you work here? Yeah. Let me give you an idea. I have chicken, but I don't have a cook like this. Hey, hey, hey. They're huge. They're very big. Chicken. How long do your chickens live before they stop laying eggs? Huh? Like how many years will they lay eggs for before you have to kill them? We we didn't want to kill them. We just went for the eggs. <laughs> uh, but I like, know I just know that sometimes. What well, any time? They can stop laying any time. No, they don't stop laying eggs. Ever? I thought they stopped laying after a couple of years. No. Huh. And then uh, when you decided to eat them, then you kill them. Oh, okay. But they like to come outside when we dig the ground. Oh, and I like to look at one. Right. A huge chicken. Uh -huh. What do you know? What variety? No, I just want to get the chicken and raise them and then have eggs. <laughs> and that's in Utah, right? In Utah. Ah. This is a beautiful one. Yeah, this one is. Like this, all the other ones, those were nice, but this is it. This is it, yeah. Yeah. This is a I already have a fire with that. I need a house. <laughs> yeah. I need a bench like this one.